Humans are inherently social beings, and in social interactions, we often encounter a word that serves as a benchmark for almost all human beings. Ranking. No matter how small something is, there will always be a ranking whether it's a ranking in a game, the best-rated restaurants in the area, competitions, and so on. Hiroto Shinohara is a transfer student who came to a new school located on Academy Island, which actually doesn't care much about rankings. However, during his speech as the newly appointed top-ranking student, he acted arrogant and proclaimed that if anyone wanted to challenge his position, he would accept it through a special game that can only be found on Academy Island. Of course, this was merely a bluff when he delivered the speech arrogantly because he panicked too much when he was about to give the speech and when his smartphone rang. He read all the incoming comments as the speech was being broadcasted live through a special school channel. The school on Academy Island is managed by the Sianji Corporation, which is equipped with the latest and most comprehensive facilities that can only be found there. A few hours before giving the speech, while Hiroto was walking to school, he felt confused with the directions provided on the MAPS application on his smartphone. Then, he heard footsteps and saw a beautiful girl who captivated him with her beauty. She had long ruby red hair and her eye color perfectly matched her hair color, instantly grabbing Hiroto's attention. Hiroto asked the girl for directions to the school he was going to today because he had just arrived at Academy Island yesterday and hadn't had a chance to explore the area or at least know the way to his new school, Ame Academy. The girl replied that Ame Academy is located in District 4, while Hiroto's current position was in District 3, which caused him to get lost while walking in District 3. The girl showed Hiroto the location of Ame Academy on the MAPS application on his smartphone, and she realized that Hiroto was around the same age as her because she knew he was in Class 2, which could be accessed through the personal data application on the student's smartphones. Sensing that Hiroto hadn't had time to read the user guide for his smartphone, the girl asked him, and true enough, Hiroto was the type of person who always skipped tutorials as long as it was possible, like in games, for example. The girl laughed at Hiroto's statement, realizing that he truly hadn't read the user guide and indirectly asked the girl for help. The smartphones given to students studying on Academy Island are mandatory and students must understand their functionality because most of the data about each student can be accessed through the application so they should always carry it. Academy Island also has its own special social media platform called Stick, where students can stay updated on the latest news and events at the Academy. One of the most important applications is used for a game where players compete to collect stars from each other by sending game requests. They can play a game where they bet stars they have accumulated from previous games, or for those who have never played, it becomes an opportunity to steal stars from their opponents while collecting seven stars to rank the highest at the academy. While showing Hiroto the way, the girl began escorting him to IMA Academy. Hiroto, with a smirk on his face, followed her, captivated by her beauty and cuteness. Hiroto, as a transfer student, had to attend the orientation event held for new and transfer students. The girl also suddenly remembered that she had to attend the event in the afternoon. As they were about to part ways, by some coincidence or unfortunate event, a small water turret appeared and sprayed water, drenching the girl completely. Feeling played by Hiroto, who, in reality, didn't even know how to use the smartphone properly. The girl was furious because all her clothes were soaked, and she felt humiliated by the situation that happened purely by chance. She challenged Hiroto to a star-collecting game, where the challenger should determine the game since Hiroto didn't fully understand how the application worked. Thus, he only sent the challenge without any concept of the game to be played. Eventually, the girl decided on the game they would play. The game they would play was a staring contest with a difficult mode, where they would take turns attacking each other with different expressions to make their opponent look suspicious, and if they did, they would be declared the loser. Since Hiroto was the challenger, he would be the first to attack, and the players would take turns for one minute. Hiroto began the game poorly because he didn't know what to do. He was clueless even about basic things like setting his abilities before starting the game, let alone how to attack the angry girl whose expression remained hidden due to the ongoing game. The one minute allotted to Hiroto seemed wasted due to his own confusion, which prevented him from seizing the opportunity to attack. When it was the girl's turn to attack, she quickly unleashed her ability to create a sword-like laser and aimed it at Hiroto, hoping to see a terrified expression on his face seconds after the attack. In cornered, 
Hiroto didn't want to lose to the ruby-haired girl who was clearly frustrated and felt underestimated because of his lack of knowledge in managing his abilities and other basic aspects. It was Hiroto's turn to attack again, but to his surprise, the small turret that had previously sprayed water at the red-haired girl unexpectedly targeted him with the same water spray. In that moment, the girl fell silent momentarily, seething with anger as she believed Hiroto had planned it from the beginning and had successfully bought time until the turret reappeared. The red-haired girl, who had briefly fallen silent, suddenly showed an expression of embarrassment because her clothes were once again soaked. Her plan to welcome new students as one of the role models in the school had backfired, and she felt deeply embarrassed by the nonsensical defeat. Was it merely pure luck or Hiroto's natural talent that allowed him to easily defeat Sianji Saresa, the red-haired girl known as the Empress? After the game concluded, Hiroto was summoned by an elderly male servant to meet the headmaster in District 4. The headmaster questioned Hiroto's ability to defeat Saresa so easily. Akino's Natsum, who had initially intended to intimidate Hiroto and make him afraid, revealed that the person he had defeated was none other than Sianji Masamuni, the owner of Academy Island and Sarasa's grandfather. Feeling pressured by the confrontation with Akino's Natsum, the headmaster of District 4 at IMAE Academy, Hiroto faced a difficult situation. The headmaster believed that Hiroto had truly broken a taboo on Academy Island by defeating a figure as important as Sianji Saresa known as the Empress. Considering Hiroto as an NPC, non-player character, the Headmaster offered him a solution to become a new legend on Academy Island by being the first transfer student to obtain the Seven Stars. Hiroto could make use of the special effect ability of the Red Star he had obtained from Saresa, which was the ability to deceive convincingly. This ability was even feared by Hiroto himself, but he decided to seize the opportunity to search for someone he had encountered before. Even after giving this speech, Hiroto was still frustrated because his ability to lie had a significant impact on players with the same or even higher star rankings. With empty words that could provoke the emotions of easily agitated individuals, his remarks were deeply hurtful. The headmaster was delighted with Hiroto's arrogant and conceited speech, thanks to the natural effect of the red star he had obtained from Saresa. The headmaster explained that it was a perfect psychological deception. By delivering a speech in that manner, even the most seasoned veterans couldn't help but feel heated. Being able to separate his emotions while lying in his expression when acting extremely arrogant came naturally to Hiroto. However, the side effect was that he would come to despise lying after he had finished doing it. The headmaster was grateful to have recruited Hiroto to Academy Island. After their brief conversation, Hiroto was eager to return to the dormitory as he appeared exhausted from his eventful day. The headmaster had already provided him with the address of the dormitory based on the star ranking he had achieved through his smartphone. On his way back to the dormitory, Hiroto was suddenly pulled by someone, who turned out to be Saresa. She couldn't accept the humiliating defeat. Moreover, Saresa felt that when Hiroto delivered his speech, he was seeking more attention to mentally crush her, because she was the granddaughter of the owner of Academy Island. Due to the loss of the Red Star, Saresa experienced its effects when she lied for survival, as it served as her reason for living. Saresa was willing to do anything for Hiroto as long as he didn't reveal the secret she was about to disclose. As a punishment for the loss of the Red Star she had taken from Akabane Arena, her real name, a year ago, Hiroto was completely bewildered by Sarasa's words and tried to clarify the misunderstandings and the fact that he knew nothing about Academy Island and its entire contents. The lies that Saresa should have revealed to Hiroto were hindered by the effects of the Red Star itself. Eventually, Hiroto realized that Saresa was not the true granddaughter of Sianji Masamuni and that she was Akabane Arena. He became fearful of his own words during his speech as the representative of the new students. Hiroto was determined to pursue the seventh star to uncover the identity of the person he had encountered in his childhood, and whether it was related to his enrollment on Academy Island. As night approached, Hiroto arrived at the apartment indicated by the headmaster, only to find that it was a luxurious residence for him to live in alone. Curious about its contents, when Hiroto entered, he encountered a beautiful girl dressed as a maid with silver hair. Who was she? Was she really just an ordinary maid?